Hello everyone. As you might have seen, a couple days ago, I made a magnetic 1x1. And some of you might have been wondering, well, why? Why bother? Well, here's the answer. Other than just being a collector's item, the 1x1M that I made actually has a purpose. You might have seen the spiky cube that I made a while ago with my dad. This was a 3x3 modification that had spikes glued onto the outside of it for extensions. It was also a sticker mod, which made it a super cube and fairly difficult to solve. My dad wanted to build upon this, or rather shrink it down, and build a 1x1M with magnetic spikes. Like I mentioned in my magnetic 1x1 video, not all the polarities were the same on all the magnets, so unfortunately not all of the spikes will stick to each side. But that just adds an extra challenge. Of course, they will all stick to the side that they're supposed to stick to. In order to make this puzzle, I 3D printed some rectangular pyraminxes from Shapeways that would fit onto the puzzle. I also had them hollowed out where there was a space for the magnet to fit into. We stickered it up using the same sticker scheme as we did in the 3x3 spiky cube. As you can see, the puzzle does take a while to solve from the scrambled state into the solved state because you not only have to put each tip on the correct face, but then you have to rotate them so they all match. Turning on this puzzle is very good. The tips all turn smoothly when magnetically attached to the one by one. And for all those tip lovers out there, this is really the puzzle for you. I know how much everyone loves Pyraminx tips. If you haven't already seen the video on the 3x3 Spiky Cube, I definitely suggest you go check it out. A link will be in the description below. If we do more builds like this in the future, for example a 2x2 or 4x4 Spiky Cube, we won't be doing them with magnets, but we will be doing them similarly to the way we did the 3x3 with glued on extensions. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see either of those puzzles. So that's about all I have for this video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.